So we looked around for an area of operations that was sort of a, a topical, um, but you know, fairly realistic situation. The SEALs go into Karatvia, which is a uh, country in the former Soviet Union. The SEALs are after a real threat, which makes the storyline very modern, very realistic. While our location is ultimately fictional, it's taken from sort of the Baltic Sea area. So that's great because it gave us a lot of scope to do a lot of visually uh, interesting things. Levels that are very snowy, which allows the SEALs to use our camouflage. But we've also got uh, you know, some more standard sort of woodland camo. Uh, one of my favorites in the game now is the SEALs are using uh, what's called a mountain BDU, which is more of an, an over-gray flight suit, um, and I actually really like that. It's, it's a real operational thing that the SEALs would use. It's, uh, it's very Special Forces um, type equipment. They go in on the first mission in, in plain clothes with backpacks on, um, you know, entering the village in stealth, just taking guys down with uh, knife kills and, uh, and pistols. SOCOM has always been a really authentic, real-life experience and we wanted to bring that across and I think players really appreciate that we have, you know, real-life guns, we have real-life camo, the SEALs are authentic. Navy SEALs are very specific in the things they do, so we really have to pay attention to little details like how they hold their gun, how they reload their gun, how they stand. Those type of things, they all add up to make you feel like you are a Navy SEAL. But really we wanted to make sure that everything that the SEALs were doing was very much a, a, an on-the-ground operation, so you're not getting massive airstrikes and huge world conflicts. It's a localized conflict that four guys could realistically solve.